In this video, I'll cover various tips, tricks and other little hidden features as fast as possible regarding Google Keep, both on the desktop and mobile versions. So with that, let's begin. Starting with the mobile app, just a few basic housekeeping ones before we go any further. Looking at the top section, if you swipe down on your account icon, you'll be able to switch accounts if you have multiple Google accounts signed in on, so a helpful little time saver really. Following on from this, we have the view options in the search field where you can filter by type, labels you might have created and other elements as seen below. And finally, we have the side panel menu. Again, all self-explanatory stuff hopefully. In regards to the notes themselves, holding down for a moment and then dragging will allow you to move the note to a different position. Holding down and then letting go will open a selection menu with various controls. A couple of key ones that often get missed are the labels feature and theme options. So Google Keep doesn't really have folders, so apart from archiving and pinning notes, labels are the way to go for organization in this app. In regards to theming, if you click on the paint palette, you can color a note a specific color for some extra extra organization. Though, if you want to theme a note, you'll have to do this by opening the note and then clicking on the paint icon from within it, from which you'll then be able to change the theme. And a final tip is that if you swipe on your notes, either to the right or to the left, this will quickly archive it without having to select the note and then press archive. Alright, moving on below, we have a couple of note creation options. The plus icon in the bottom right obviously creates a blank new note, and in the bottom left, the checkbox icon creates a checkbox note, as expected. Next to that is a paint icon, which will allow you to create a quick sketch or doodle. And a quick tip here is that you can tap the tools at the bottom to get additional controls on color and line thickness as well. Also, while in this painting interface, if you press the three dots in the top corner, you can enable a grid, which allows you to choose a specific grid style to aid your drawing. And when you're done, the drawing will just get embedded within a blank new note for you to save as needed. Also, keep in mind that the grid does not get shown as part of your sketch, so there is that. The microphone option will allow you to make a voice recording and save it into a note. But what's also nice about this is that Google Keep actually transcribes the recording so you can have a text version as well as the recording which you can manipulate as needed. And finally we have the images option which involves either taking an image with your camera or by inserting a photo into Google Keep. If you insert a photo Keep will create a new note for the image to be stored in. From here you can then tap the image where you can then annotate it using the drawing controls that I mentioned earlier or if you press these three dots you can grab the image text where Google Keep will grab all the image text and paste it into the note below the image for you. I mean, iOS and Android do have this feature built into the system now, but it is nice to see built into Google Keep as a quick and easy method for text extraction. And the final tip for the mobile app is on reminders. While you could set reminders for a specific date or time, what is more useful is setting it for a specific location. This way, as soon as you get to a location, Google Keep will send you a notification on your phone regarding whatever it was in that note. So yeah, definitely an underutilized feature by many with shopping to do. Oh, and if you head into the settings, you'll be able to to customize what Google Keep considers to be your mornings, afternoons and evenings, as well as some other options. So if you're one of those late night owls, then this might be useful so you don't get that early morning reminder while you're still asleep. Right, so that covers a mobile app. Let's head into the desktop version now. So right off the bat, <coughs> The interface is very similar, and likewise for the functionality as well, but a few additional options are presented to you. Firstly is the theme and appearance. If you want to use this dark mode style theme, then go to the settings icon in the top right where you'll see an option for the dark mode theme. As you can see, the whole screen optimizes well, including your note content, but I'll keep it on the light mode theme for the sake of this video. While we're in the settings, you'll also find the keyboard shortcuts menu, so if you're a power user of any sort and want to maximize Google Keep to its potential, be sure to take a look in here. One of the main differences that is also also apparent on the desktop version is the use of the version history of your notes. So if you click into a note that you've amended over time and then click these three dots, you'll have an option to take a peek at various previous versions of that note and restore to that date or specific time. Quite a handy one which should hopefully make its way to the mobile app in the future. And finally, I just want to touch upon the export to Google Docs option and other collaboration features. So if you open any note and then click the three dots and then click the copy to Google Docs option, Google Keep will then copy your notes content into a new Google Doc. This might take a moment, but once it's created in your Google Drive, you'll be given a handy link in the bottom corner to open the Google Doc and takes you right there as well. After opening the document, you'll also notice how the formatting is generally emulated as best as possible. And while we're in Google Docs, this is a good time to mention the integrations between the different Google apps. For example, if we click this little arrow in the bottom right area of Google Docs, it will open up the side panel where you can select Google Keep. From here, a Google Keep window will load up, allowing you to browse and manually copy and paste 
as needed. Or if you click these three dots that you see on a particular note, you can just insert the entire note contents into the document at the position where your cursor was last. In regards to collaboration features, I think it's generally quite simple but functional. So if you go to any note and then click on this person icon, you'll have an option to add someone by entering their email to collaborate with on a note. So this could be a family member or friend for example, you get the idea. For the other person, the note will appear in their Google Keep in the note section specifically and have an icon within the note to show that it's been shared from another user. The changes will also be kept synced between the two users accordingly. But I mean, if you're still optimistic about learning some more tech tips after the use of Google Chrome in this video, then click here to check out this curated playlist I made on Google Chrome. But anyway, hopefully that wasn't too quick and you learned something new regarding Google Keep on mobile or desktop in this condensed video. Anyway, like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.